Let me roll into that first product and kind of get that going. And the first one we got is the Avid Trek three piece, right? Yeah, it's a. Uh, oh, everything about St. Croix is trying to give the angler the advantage on the water. And we hear over and over again the importance of getting a rod somewhere, the difficulty of it sometimes when you're going way off the beaten path. But once you get it there, you don't want to you don't want to feel the dead spots in the blank. And what St. Croix did is introduce seven models this year in what's called Avid Trek. It's St. Croix's SC3 Carbon on our proprietary IPC tooling technology. And a lot of your viewers out there follow that technology. What it does, it makes it super smooth in conjunction with the slim profile ferrule that's reinforced. Mm -hmm. This it's just like a one piece. It's USA built. It's a three piece rod. Comes with a case right here that I'll hold up. They can see that. But really, it's it's pretty pretty awesome. I had a chance to film with it a few weeks ago, and I had some braid and a little bladed jig on it, and it was awesome to not feel the dead spots in that rod. It's been a really cool series to to get out there. We're anxious to hear the folks' feedback. It's funny. I was just getting some coffee before we came on there, and one of the kids like in the warehouse like I'm so stoked to see all the new travel rods coming out it's gonna be great for what's going on I'm like I need to get my I'm, I'm heading to Alaska well hopefully if things keep moving on pretty soon and a uh, three-piece travel rod like that would be great what what lengths they come in interactions or what how many different uh, models are there well there's seven models mostly spinning okay they're going to be the one I'm holding right here is a seven and a half footer um, in a medium power fast action in a three-piece Wow. So yeah, there's seven models, mostly spinning, one casting, but again, it's really not even freshwater centric. It's It could be used in fresh or salt water, but the cool thing about it is when you get it out there and fish it, it, it feels like you're fishing a seven and a half foot one piece rod, this one does. It's really neat. And a lot of that's the manufacturing of the ferrule up here in Park Falls. Yeah, you know, Dan, that that's always been the challenge with, with multi-piece rods travel rods is they're just not a pleasure to fish. And it sounds like uh, St. Croix has really attacked that. Uh, it, you, you know, you, you, you go all the way across the country, across the world, you get to some beautiful place to fish. You want the experience to be, uh, a, a, of, of fishing to be yeah, yeah. Just, as, just as good as it is at home. And, and so, uh, you know, St. Croix is, is, is bringing you these fantastic new travel rods. Uh, so that, that's awesome that they're, they're able to, to attack that issue there. Yeah. I'm stoked to get them myself. Uh, do we have a, a estimated ET when they're becoming out, Dan, or what are we thinking for time, time frame here? Yeah, Avid Trek is gonna ship closer to the end of the year. Uh, we're gonna start shipping them in November, uh, but we can certainly, you know, we can pre-order them anytime, um, get them coming, you know, through you guys. But uh, yeah, it, it's a, Joey, I couldn't agree more. You know, for, for years you get your hands on a multi-piece spinning rod or a casting rod and, you just feel those sections because if you think about it for all the people viewing out there if you have a ferrule like this you have a a male part and a female part so you got a thick stiff spot about that long and that actually affects deflection and the way croy manufactures the ferrules it's very thin in profile reinforced in carbon so it eliminates a lot of that and you just don't feel it near as much it's 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 pretty outstanding when you fish it. It's going to be one of those where you kind of got to see it to believe it. Interesting. Dan, I have one more question before we move on from these. Uh, now, I know there's, uh, in bass fishing, there's not as much two-piece uh, or multi-piece rods, but I know that a lot of people think there is a correct and definitely an incorrect way of putting a two-piece rod together. Can, can you show us the St. Croix approved method of uh Yeah, of actually, absolutely. Your rod? Let me... Yeah, let me, let me demonstrate on the top part of the rod so you can see the guide so we talk about alignment. And I'm going to do the best I can here. Bear with me. Hopefully, uh, this Zoom virtual stuff is new for all of us. So <laughs> yeah. basically, if you guys can, can you see the stripper guide in the first guide? Yes, sir. Yep. A couple yep. guides here? Okay. One thing a lot of people do when they put a rod together is they put them dead straight and then push it in like this. And that works. There's no question. But a better way to do it is to line it up just so it's a little bit little bit off first see that uh-huh yeah now i'm gonna i'm gonna sink that ferrule and turn it as i do it and it's really super super strong that way it just sets it real good and it, there's definitely a right and a wrong way to do it you want to make sure you get them seated but a lot of it to be honest with you is the manufacturing of the ferrule 
if, if it's if it's the right fit, it makes a big difference. I can still remember uh, being a little kid and winding up to make a big cast and <laughs> the second half of my rod goes flying <laughs> along with my bait. And that's because of incorrect, yeah. uh, uh, incorrectly putting the rod together. So if you, if you snug and lock that ferrule like, like Dan's talking about, uh, you're not gonna have that problem. That's huge insight. That's something I didn't know and it's, it's, I, I know now it's good to know though.